don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification okay guys how are you doing i hope you're doing well welcome to our youtube channel in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create a model for multiple user type this means that we want to create a model where we'll be authenticating people of different type like admin patient and doctor right here as you can see this is a model it is called the account underscore user here as you can see this is admin this is a patient and this is a doctor the aim of creating a model of multiple user types is to make an authentication easily this means that a doctor will be authenticated to doctor dashboard a patient will be authenticated to uh, patient dashboard and admin will be redirected to the admin dashboard right so this is why we needed to create a multiple user type model in django so that is so here we begin right i have a project django project named uh youtube so here i'll create an app named as account right so let me let me let me create django django admin start up django admin start up accounts right django yes ops is django admin start up account right something like this now we have created an an app named as account here so inside this app will create a model which will be named as user and it will have multiple types right so let's quickly go here this is this is django project and this is a uh, account this is an app we have created now right so let me open setting.py so as we can register and install the app right so here i quickly make sure you are set you are setting.py matches with my setting.py though i'll put the source code below video description so you'll download right so make sure these lines are included in your setting.py right then after we needed to add an app we have installed so here i register an app it is named the account right i make sure i save the changes yes so this is the account this is your is our app then after let me quickly go yes and uh, another thing make sure that you have specified your database here i'm using sqlite 3 right as you can see here i've specified i've specified that i'm using sqlite 3 database right so after that we are we want to run a migration right so let's run a migration after after creating an an app right so make migrations right then it, we need it to migrate migrate right we are done with migration so the next step is to create a module right so this model is present in account this is an app we have created right now so open models.py then after we need it to we need it to to create our model right so here oh, I, I need to input import some important uh, modules and the uh, and the libraries right so from django dot from django django dot contrib from django dot contrib dot auth 
dot auth dot models we need to import we need to import abstract user and user abstract is abstract user right also we need to import user something like that right then after we need to import i hope this is enough right so let's import some more from django dot util utils dot html html uh, i need to import escape import escape import escape escape and uh, make safe right so make underscore safe so after Im after importing some necessary modules and the libraries it's a time to create our model right so here uh, i quickly create a model named as user right user then after in the bracket i specify abstract user then after i need to i need to specify the column name i want to add so is admin is user admin so if for admin you will be redirected to the admin dashboard right so is admin models dot boolean field models dot boolean boolean field right then default is false default default is false false so after creating admin then i copy this paste it here so i need admin i need a patient as i said before that will have admin patient and doctor so i need a doctor here doctor right so something like this and then i control s to make sure the changes are saved after that first of all let me comment this right so something we can after that let's open admin.py so as we can register a model we have created right so here on the top of our admin.py we needed to import from right from account from account dot models from account dot models i needed to import i needed to import user right so after importing user it's a time to register a, a model we have created in models.py right so here under underneath of this com comment i i gonna register an a model we have created right so is admin admin dot site admin dot site admin dot site dot register dot register then bracket ipath the name of ipath the, the name of of model to register right so here we we, we did the setting we moved it to models.py where we created a model then we registered a model in admin.py so the last step is to make sure that we add this setting authentication underscore user model should come from 
account.user. This is app name and this is model name from app account, right? So I save, I control S to make sure the changes are saved. Then after, it's a time to run migration, right? So Python manage, make migrations, ops. Here we can see Django contribute models abstract user what's wrong let me see abstract user is abstract user is true okay let me control s Let's run once again. Oops, from abstract. It's abstract. Let me check out here. It's abstract models. Abstract. It should be something like this. So let me let me copy this then let me paste it here oops uh, I should I forget to import oh shit so let me let me let me comment the the line I've copied from another file so control s to save the changes then let's run migration right migration see there is an l boolean here is a boolean boo boolean boolean control s then let's run migration once again oops what's wrong Django dot model says no Boolean. So what's wrong? What's wrong? Boolean field. Shit. Models. Boolean field. Yes, here should be B. Then I rest run once again. Boom. Now we have we need it to migrate, right? Oops, here we can see this is a common error. Uh, migration uh, inconsistency history, so we can solve it. We can quickly solve it. So let me delete this, right? Then let me delete SQLite file. After that, I'm going to repeat to learn migration, then migrate. Right now, we have successfully created a model which is named. The uh, account underscore user which will be able to authenticate people of different types like admin patient and doctor right so let's quickly check out how is our database looking like so this is your database let me copy a path here and uh, open the database by using a square browser so i open database then after i paste i select now you can see is admin is patient is doctor these are the quorum fields added to the account underscore user so actually that is an end of of this youtube tutorial on how to create a multiple user type model in django just to put a short summary of what we have covered 
actually we had uh, to, 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 to configure some settings in setting.py of the main project then after we moved in models.py no 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 we created an app named app we made a migration then after inside of account app we created a model after creating a model then we created the we created a model named user after that uh, we registered a model we have created in admin.py then after we made a migration to make sure the changes of a model we created are saved to the database so actually that is an end of our youtube tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to like put comment share and subscribe for next video update thank you and see you in the next tutorials don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification